guys, welcome back to Pantry Living. Today, we are going to be making my chocolate granola. This is something that I did feature a few times throughout the Pantry Challenge in $50 February, and a few of you have asked me for my recipe, and I kept meaning to post it on my community tab, but I just never got around to it. So I decided since I was making it today, so that we had it for tomorrow for lunches for the kids, I would just share the recipe with you now. So let's get busy on that. I love this recipe for the fact that it is super simple and it always turns out perfect. And it's chocolate, so you really can't go wrong. We're gonna start off with three cups of oats in our uh, big silver bowl here. And then we're just gonna go through the ingredients as we go. And basically that's it. <laughs> it's really simple. So once you've got your uh, large flake oats in there, next thing we're gonna need is our quick oats. You need one cup of quick oats. I'm using a half cupper because my one cupper is dirty. Baking cocoa, again, a half cup. It's not going to fit, of course, because that would be too easy. A half cup of roasted sunflower seeds or any other type of nut. If you're not trying to be nut free, uh, we're doing this so the kids can take it for school. So it has to be nut free. Now, next ingredient is actually three tablespoons of chai seeds, or if you have flax seeds, something like that. Now, as you're noticing, some of these items, especially during $50 February, I left out. The granola still turns out great, but we were trying to conserve our budget and not go through things like chai seeds and that sort of stuff. So we did have the sunflower seeds in there, but we didn't put chai seeds and that sort of thing in. So they are amazing in there. I definitely would not leave them out if I didn't have to. All right, so now that we've got our dry ingredients all kind of mixed up, we're gonna mix up our wet ingredients separate and then just kind of pour them in. So I'm starting out with my 3 8 of a cup of brown sugar. And to that, I'm going to add 3 quarters of a cup of mixed butter, oil. Really, you can do whatever you want. If you wanna do a nut butter, I have done this with peanut butter when the kids aren't taking it to school and it's really, really good. Uh, but for the purpose of being able to take it to school and keeping it nut free, I've gone half butter, half oil. Uh, so you can kind of do whatever combo works. We've tried many different things and they all seem to turn out great. So we're just going to mix that into our brown sugar. Then next we're going to need three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. Now you could use corn syrup. Uh, that would work fine as well. I've actually sometimes done it with half and half just to kind of save money because sometimes maple syrup can be really pricey here. We did happen to get it on sale uh, right before the pantry challenge. So that was a good deal. And the last thing to get added is a tablespoon of vanilla. And then we're basically just going to stir this up and then pour it into our dry ingredients. Almost as like caramel. And then we just get that all mixed around. And then next will be to spread it out on our cookie sheet. I do always line the cookie sheet with parchment or as you can see here, I'm using my reusable parchment. I love this stuff. Got it at Canadian Tire, I believe, and I'm definitely gonna get another one. There we are. We just wanna get it spread out as best we can. It doesn't have to be super thin, but try and get it kind of at least to the edges of the uh, cookie sheet. That's the nice thing about the parchment is you can always kind of curl it up if you get a little close. We are preheating to 325, and then we're going to put this in, and it will be in there for roughly 20 minutes. You might need it to go a little bit longer than that. I try midpoint to kind of ruck it up a little bit. All right, so the chocolate granola is in the oven. That's gonna be going for about 20 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna do a bonus. We're actually going to make a fruit granola because Chris has been hounding me for ages to change this recipe up and not do chocolate, but to do fruit. So the recipe is virtually the same. The oats, the maple syrup, the butter oil, all that is basically the same. The only thing we're omitting is the brown sugar and we're replacing that with the mixed fruit. So we are going to be a two thirds cup of our mixed fruit. In this case, we're using cherries, cranberries, and raisins, and 
The other thing that we're going to put in this one, since I really don't think the kids are going to want to take it for school, we're going to do, we've got some pecans that have been kicking around for a long time and some macadamia nuts. So I'm going to chop some of them up and throw them in as well. And we're also finally, I don't know if you remember, in our grocery haul before the pantry challenge, we managed to come across some organic coconut. Still hadn't used it yet. So we are breaking it out for this granola. So it's going to be fantastic. The other thing that I'm not maybe going to put into this one is the sunflower seeds because of the fact that I've got the other nuts in there. So I don't know if we really need it. So uh, yeah, we're going with half a cup of nuts, two thirds of a cup of fruit, and I'm going to do half a cup of the coconut um, flakes. So we will give it a try when we come out. Like I say, it's kind of tweaking the same basic recipe. So I haven't tried this yet. We will see how it turns out and I'll tell you at the end. Now I need to do the coconut. There you go. I'm going a little bit less than half a cup because I'm going to put some chocolate chips in here after as well. And now that all that stuff's in there, basically we have our mixture half and half again, like I did with the other one and our maple syrup. We're going to just pour that on top with a little bit of vanilla. And that's basically it. One thing you could do is you could add some cinnamon or something like that into this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it this time. I think I'm just going to try it as is and we'll see. The maple syrup is going to put a lot of flavor. You could also use honey in both these recipes, <laughs> I should have mentioned. Um, you know, you could substitute honey instead of the maple syrup if that's what you have. So definitely lots of options here. The other thing I should mention with all the, both these recipes, if you find they're a little bit too wet, too not enough... Uh, Dry ingredients, you can always just add a little bit more of those quick oats. They really soak it up when you need it to. And we're going to just stir this around. Oh, I forgot the vanilla. We should put the vanilla in before I stir it too much. One tablespoon of vanilla. Now we'll stir it around. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll get this spread out onto cookie sheet with parchment and get it into the oven as well. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Here you can see the chocolate one is out of the oven. And basically this is the advantage to the parchment. We are just kind of rucking it up. It's still pretty hot, but I can touch it. And the last bit we need to do here is sprinkle our chocolate chips on top. Basically, I go with a handful. It's basically, what, half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. Get them on there. Just kind of ruck them in. They will slightly melt in there, and it really is tasty. But basically, that is the chocolate one all finished. And the other one has about 15 more minutes in the oven. Baker's right. Honestly, it is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Hope you give it a try. All right, so two batches of granola done. As you can see here, they kind of half filled some pretty decent containers. We ended up with almost four liters of granola. Honestly, making your own granola from scratch at home is a huge, huge savings in money. And you know what? You're getting a quality product that you know what's in there. There's no preservatives. It really is a uh, unbelievable thing and if you want to make them into granola bars you can do that too so i hope you give it a try we're going to do the ultimate test right now as i said earlier in this video chris has been trying to get me to make a fruit based granola for months now and i finally took that recipe from the chocolate one and tweaked it and we're going to see what he thinks of it now so i'm the guinea pig and i have to admit while this was all cooking i could smell it when i was downstairs it smelled good so now i'm going to try a chunk That's good. <clears throat> and it's a lot different from the chocolate version as far as flavor and stuff. You're just gonna go and take that downstairs and uh, sit in front of the <laughs> thingy no, and really, munch away. It's really good. It does taste quite a bit different. But I, it's so bad. I sense it's gonna disappear quick. <laughs>